Hi everyone, welcome back to our newest wrap virus journey episode and this time we are visiting signature wraps here in beautiful city Canberra it's a capital of Australia if you didn't know that can't wait to share the story with you let's go Hey guys, please meet Miguel, the owner of Signature Wraps. Hi Miguel. How you doing man? Good, thank you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Would you like to introduce yourself and your wrap shop? Hey guys, I'm Miguel, I'm the owner of Signature Wraps. We're located in Canberra, um, capital territory of Australia. In our shop we do um, a lot of uh, color change wraps, we do custom designs. Um, we also do commercial wraps for businesses and also personal um, custom stickers for our clients. And we don't just do wraps, uh, we do um, a bunch of um, other services as well, like caliper painting, um, we can also order wheels for our clients, um, depending on really what they want to do with their cars. Um, yeah. You, you help them to like customize the cars? Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. I was originally doing engineering um, degree uh, for two years. And I felt that I wasn't enjoying it as much as I, you know, expected to be. Um, and throughout that time, and my life just took a mad turn. <laughs> I found rapping videos online, and um, it just sparked from there. And at the start, we had in my garage. Um, this was three years ago now. <laughs> um, I was doing a couple of work here and there, um, but it's definitely hard to, to produce a quality job without without a, a an actual um, place to do your work. This is my first ever business, <laughs> um, and it's a big step, you know, from from being a worker um, to transform into a, a business owner is definitely a big step. When I first was trying it, I, I felt like this is. Um, this is what I could do for pretty much the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I made that decision uh, and I enjoy it a lot. But at this stage now, it's, it's no stopping from, from here. Um, we want to be, um, we wanna, we wanna be bigger than, than, than um, the, what we are right now. Um, we want to you know, make a mark in the, in the industry and, uh, and definitely inspire more people to, to, to definitely um, take that next step it's that step that you know people are holding back and I think what I can share is just take the step and don't go back <laughs> <laughs> so as I understand your business is really young it was hard to start it uh, definitely it's a it's a, it's a very challenging um, um, industry to get to I think um, in our area definitely um, but at the end of the day if you put in the work you can make everything happen, yeah. How long you are in this industry? Um, I've been rapping for four years now. Um, first couple of years was kind of training myself to 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 be able to open a business. Um, the business now has been open for a year and a half, um, and yeah, everything seems to be good. Um, just more focus and quality. Who inspired you to open this business? Um, who inspired me? Um, there's a couple of people that I can um, I can say. Um, definitely, when I was just starting to look at vinyl wraps, um, yeah, Yanni Mice was uh, a big um, motivation for me to 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 take the next step of actually um, getting my skills up to be able to to share um, my knowledge about vinyl wraps and finally open a shop. Um, man, there's couple more in the US, um, like SD Wraps, um, Premium Auto Styling, was, uh, we watch them every single day. <laughs> um, I think with um, a lot of installers as well, um, 
really, really, really uh, pulls motivation from all the, the guys overseas. Um, and um, yeah, and then I found you. <laughs> this guy is yeah. really good. Starting, <laughs> starting. Yeah, that's it. But um, yeah, that's that's probably um, my motivation um, and my inspiration to to uh, do this um, craft, basically. Yeah. What makes your business, your workshop, unique, and special? So our workshop, um, I think what I can say is we make it like a very inviting environment for all all the clients even if you're not a client with us um, you're more than welcome to come in um, and hang out basically um, we do we do have quite a lot of um, other people um, car crew as well coming through the shop and just hanging out here um, and that's you know music pumping and, and like a mini party but we try not to do it all the time but you know um, we try to make um, I think that that's, um, sets us apart from all the other shops um, around our area um, to be more involved in the community, especially um, in the car scene or even in the car scene, it's just like to show off our work um, and we just love seeing people smile when they see a nice wrapped car or a nice design in a car and yeah, that's, that's probably one of um, the unique things about what we can bring in, um, in our area. Yeah. Because actually I met you at one of the car shows, like Hot Import Nights in Sydney. Yeah. And for me it was weird that wrap shop from uh, Canberra, like 300 kilometers away, yeah. came all the way to Sydney and had a booth there just to promote <laughs> a business. And none of the wrap shops from the Sydney done that, you know. Like, yeah. It, for me it was like, you're from Canberra. It's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's big respect, you know, that you're doing this, you're putting this effort yeah. to, to build the, this name, to put name in the... Um, yeah. on the market yeah. but definitely um, I think that's what's missing about um, mm. the the industry in Canberra um, that's why we try to pretty much go wherever state there's a show kind of show off um, that there is a shop in Canberra that's willing to to service anyone from Australia really okay. um, and yeah we try to connect with like like you um, like other rappers as well mm. there's nothing wrong with that it's yeah. it's we're on in the industry um, we grow together. Thank you for your answers. Would like to show me around what's going on in your crop? Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I see you have this beautiful Mustang 1965. Yeah, it's a dream car for me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one we have uh, in for today. Um, we're just doing chrome deletes around the window seals. Um, and a couple of gloss black details here and there. Mm -hmm. um, nice quick job. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful car. And, um, do you move here too? Yeah. Yeah. Move here. We have a BMW 328i going that two two tone half wrap, um, satin pro white and satin black. Um, and yeah, this will be finished about today or tomorrow. It it used to be very popular in the couple of years just to yeah. show the wrap possibilities that you actually can wrap half a car. It's not yeah. like yeah. Uh, and it's yeah, probably yeah. the be, um, one of the cl uh, clean finish of Avery Dennison. Um, we love the satin pearl white and the satin black that they come up with. Yeah, most is really the good. Yeah, best colors from Avery Dennison. You know, yeah, I really like satin pearl white Sad for me. Pearl like, white, yeah, yeah, one of the <laughs> best whites. What's so, about this bike? Yeah, oh, uh, that's my bike. Oh, nice. <laughs> I know this <laughs> color. <laughs> my, actually, my bike used to, yeah. used to be wrapped in this color. Yeah. It's um, the Hexus um, Turquoise um, Super Chrome. Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 Just kind of, kind of break it up a bit. Lost black and the the, the turquoise. Um. Let's walk into the office. Yeah, sure. Because I know uh, you have this, uh, different swatch books. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we try to keep a collection of the different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I see. You know, you're using a few different brands. Yeah. But um, yeah, we, we, we try to use um, the highest quality um, vinyl in the market as possible. Um, that just makes our client really happy and also provide a hard, really high quality um, um, job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is our office. Yeah, small um, small office. But we are in the process of looking for another shop, which. Um, that will be um, doing re up, doing up, yeah, real soon. Yeah. 
Guys, we came here for a specific project. You see behind me this crazy looking Subaru WRX <laughs> STI. Uh, heavily modified. I don't even know what kind of body kit it is. Maybe Miguel can tell us a bit more what we are doing with this car. What's going on with this car? All right. So for this car, we're doing a full print wrap. We've been working on a design. Um, I'll let the owner explain his, his, um, the reason for the design. Um, but it will be a full print um, with a base of white and red details. And I think it will be really cool to do this project. And it's good to have Rap Virus here to help, help out with a special project. But um, I'll let the owner explain uh, more in depth on the, his car and um, the inspiration of his, uh, his um, rap. So I wanted to build my motor first. So Rumble Shack from Sydney, they built and tuned the car to make some crazy power. Follow them on Instagram and Facebook for more information about what going into the engine. And the virus kit I bought from Carbonetics in Sydney and uh, Otto Alleman did the fitments and they did an amazing job. So with the design, I always wanted a blood splatter with a custom logo on it. And uh, this guy Nemo from uh, Montenegro, yeah? Yeah, Montenegro. Montenegro. He did this design for us. So that will be the design. Yeah. Hundreds of before. messages in between Instagram with me and him. After five months, we are here now. That's it. And Rap Pride, that's not coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your name? You didn't introduce yourself. Dan. 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 Okay. Dan, just Dan from Darwin, all the way from Darwin. Yeah. yeah. Darwin here in we Pandora. forgot to mention that uh, <laughs> this guy came all the way from Darwin. If you're not from Australia, I can tell you that Darwin is very far away. How, how far is away? It's Probably uh, 4,000 kilometers from here. Yeah. Only four? You sure? Four and a half. Four, yeah. It's like, take, yeah. <laughs> okay, four and a half thousand kilometers it's a away. Long drive. <laughs> just to wrap a car, it's, it's just crazy. You know, like he's crossing Australia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't wait to get started. Yeah, can't wait to get started and yeah, let's jump on it. Quick tip how to remove handles from Japanese cars like a Mitsubishi and Subaru. You need to take a door card off, then you have a most of the time star head screw straight here. Um, yeah, this is why I use this one, it was straight there. And then is one more screw just behind this uh, door mechanism. I need to lose it and then one bolt will be straight there. Let's, let's do it. Okay, now let's drop this mechanism down. And yeah, we have another star head. It's right there. It's very far. Probably I will drop this bolt inside the doors. Put finger across. Oh, maybe it's gonna stay on handle. And one more thing, it's a yellow clip, latch, I don't know how to call it. We need to release it. And then, the handle should come off. This bit. Whew. This is how you do it. See, you have done a lot of modification on this car, like a lot of carbon fiber on it, yeah. hood, splitter, headlights. I got the headlights from CD Auto. 
they're based in Sydney as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bonnet is from Pro Speed. Okay. Again, Sydney. And the, fender, is, yeah. the, the front bumper is Varis, but the fender is DA MD style fender from mm -hmm. uh, Carbonotics. Okay. And then the side skirts Varis, same thing with the rear bumper. Mm -hmm. You really have what really nice are. rims. I yeah. love them. What they, else, yeah. The rear bumper is a bit looking crazy looking bumper. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and spoiler, it's, it was, came together with this kit? No, actually no. my dad sent it from Thailand. From Thailand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, that's the only thing my dad sent me here. Uh -huh. <laughs> and as I see, you mentioned before that you wrapped this uh, boot by yourself? Yep, me and my mate. You and my yes. your mate. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And yeah. this time we were removing this wrap and putting new one. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. nice. Cool. What exhaust is stock? No, it's a NVIDIA Q300. Oh, I had that when I bought the car from previous owner. Okay. He had done that modification. But nice. after that, everything is from out of my pocket. Yeah. And of course, you have underglow, how we mentioned before. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, probably sound system is it's aftermarket stock. stock? No, it's stock. Yeah. Okay. The sound system is stock. Because when I saw this, this panel, it looks like uh, extra isolation, you know, for, for sound. So oh, it's sound from system. stock. I oh, haven't it's from done stock. anything. Okay. Interior wise, I haven't done anything. Okay, it's like interior. It's the exterior, exterior and the and power engine. Wise, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, performance wise. Let's pop the hood and check what's going on under it. Should be something. It's gonna be a lot of dust or it's gonna be very clean? <laughs> no, it's clean. It's clean. <laughs> he came all the way from Darwin, you know, like this. Whoa. Yep. Wow. It's. <laughs> I don't know much about engine, but it looks. Looks good. <laughs> it's a lot of water. 433 at the wheels, kilowatts at the wheels. We literally tuned last night. Oh, last night? Yeah. Didn't, didn't try it yet. Like I was just taking it easy. Okay. Right? <laughs> Cause you, you, you take this car on the like drag race or some power crease, summer nuts? I did the sprints in Darwin. That's where I uh, blew the head gasket like a few months ago. Okay. That's when I sent my car to Sydney to get rebuilt again. Yeah. Spin wheels. You, you just showed me this video you oh. on the, in the desert. Yeah. We'll add some cool video just to show what they're doing in Darwin, you know? There's no roads the there. That's, <laughs> that's why the This is why I was asking, you know, like it's going to be a lot of dust or not, because we do some crazy stuff there. Yeah.